It is my uh, great pleasure to welcome back Mauricio Ferro to PROI. Mauricio, it's good to see you again. Uh, maybe you can tell us uh, a little bit about your prior experience with PROI, what you've been up to the last few years, and, and most important, your new venture with uh, Tank. It's my pleasure, Jeff. Uh, it's great to see you. And yes, I'm back. Um, after six years, I left uh, in 2015 when we were acquired, uh, my prior company, Position Comunicaciones. And uh, we had uh, some uh, experience before with PRI, I guess, uh, that we were in the network for three years before that. And uh, it was a great experience. I mean, uh, Aside from uh, the great friends that we made in, in PRI, uh, we also were able to, to benchmark uh, our firm against uh, all the other firms in the world. Uh, we were able to uh, build uh, a great uh, network. We did a lot of networking with our, our partners, um, with Brazil, with Mexico, with uh, many of the, of the firms in, in the US. Uh, many of the firms in in Europe, and uh, all that experience was was a, a lot of learning, a lot of uh, being able to bring uh, position communication in my prior firm to uh, a better level. You know those uh, summits that we did in uh, Hong Kong and uh, New York were great experience uh, not only culturally but also in terms of business i mean that networking brought us business we did some common clients with uh, some of the regional firms with uh, zero in brazil um, also with uh, mexico with new york with uh, many of the of, of the companies that are in in pri so it was a great experience and um, so that's one of the reasons why I'm back. And so now tell us about your new venture with Tank uh, Consultant. Well, um, after selling my company, uh, I sold in 2015, April, and then uh, I had a contract for three years with uh, Edelman, the company that we sold to. And uh, I decided to stay six more months after the, the earn out finalized with them. So I left in October 2018 and I had a one year uh, blackout because I had signed uh, a non-compete clause. Uh, it's good that I signed for only one year because otherwise I would be very bored. <laughs> and uh, so after that year in October 2019, I came back and uh, I bought a company that had been founded by the former president of J. Walter Thompson. So this was a company very much oriented to uh, advertising, but uh, this guy was doing uh, small clients that needed a lot of PR. And uh, so that came, you know, right uh, as, as, as the uh, company to, to buy. And uh, so, we agreed to buy Tank Comunicaciones and we turn it into Tank Consultoria because we do a lot more than, than communications. We, we do a lot of consulting and uh, our business proposition is we solve business problems because we ended uh, finding that through communications, through the power of communications, we are able to take uh, the stock of a company up you know, after it was brought down by uh, an attack on Twitter, uh, we were able to uh, amend uh, the relationship with uh, stakeholders, for example, for uh, a company that's doing uh, extraction for an extractive industry company. Uh, so we are able to communicate to their stakeholders that they're not a foe, but they're, they're, they're a good neighbor. So all that experience brought us the concept that we, we not only do communications, but we, through communications, uh, solve business problems. We solve business problems for uh, a brand that is uh, being bullied in uh, the uh, 
social uh, media, we are uh, able to build uh, communications for many companies that need a lot more than just uh, public relations. You know, we do public affairs, we do uh, brand communications, we do uh, lit litigation communications or, or legal battles. And uh, we're in the middle of um, a lot of action in the field. Sounds very exciting. Where do you see as uh, sort of your immediate growth plans now? So this is such a young venture. Where do you see yourself taking this in, in the next few years? Well, one of the reasons why uh, my prior company was bought was because we, we had great technology uh, and also we had great methodologies that uh, we had acquired from all over the world. You know, we, through this benchmarking we did, not only within PRI, but uh, we also, we, we, we always looked at our competition uh, worldwide, you know, uh, I'm friends with, uh, for example, the, the chairman of Where is Shadwick with Jack Leslie, and he taught us a lot, you know, in, in prior experiences, advising, for example, the Colombian government, and that's the number two company in the world. So from experience of all those firms and from the great technology that we have, uh, we still don't see many firms in, in, in our market that have great technology. And uh, that comes way back from the time in which I was uh, vice president of uh, Microsoft in Colombia. And uh, for, for me, technology is natural, you know, somehow. Um, so we, we uh, foresee that uh, being able to understand what's going on in social media, uh, in social media, being able to understand what's going in digital, uh, being able to show uh, great graphs to our clients and uh, being able to be a step forward in terms of technology. Now investing in artificial intelligence, in big data, in uh, machine learning is going to take us to, to another next level. You know, we see that uh, still we, we are uh, very competitive in terms of uh, the, the monitoring the social networks and being able in real time to uh, know what to do with uh, a negative tweet, you know, from a troll, an avatar, a hater. Uh, I mean, there's a, a complete new uh, zoology in the, in, in the uh, stakeholders that we manage. So, being able to understand that and know what to do, know how to, to deal with a crisis. You know, it could be uh, a bug on, on a pizza or it could be uh, a big strike in a city. You know, we know how to deal with that kind of, of issues that all governments, all companies are subject to. You know, crises are uh, right uh, at the turn of the corner and uh, companies, companies and institutions. I mean, I, I used to advise IFC, International Finance Corporation. That's uh, the business unit of the World Bank. And at the time, I thought that they had everything figured out until they had a crisis and they called us and, gee, they, I mean, we had have, we have to start crisis management 101 with those guys. You know, so many companies, many institutions uh, are really not well prepared for the crisis. So what do you see now yourself bringing to the PROI partners out there? And, and, and what do you hope to, to get back? And what, what do you see yourself interacting with this organization now in the future? Well, I'm, I'm bringing a, a lot more gray hair. Well, just a little bit on the side. Uh, <laughs> a lot more experience, I guess. <laughs> Uh, I'm bringing, you know, the, the experience of, of having grown a company. Uh, I mean, we were not huge at the time. We were middle size, I guess. And uh, for U.S. standards or Brazil or India, we were a, a small company. Uh, we had 40 clients at the time when we sold. But it was a great learning experience. Uh, understand 
why Edelman bought us, uh, why uh, we meant something for the number one uh, independent company in, in communications uh, strategies in, in the world. And uh, so, so that learning experience, you know, coming from a small, uh, very strategic and very uh, digital firm into the network of, um, of Edelman was great. And I think that I can bring some of that to, to PRI. Uh, and what I want from, from PRI is again, the, the great networking, uh, the great uh, benchmarking, the great pitching together for some of the original accounts. You know, I mean, not only having uh, local accounts, but going after the Coca-Colas and Netflixes of the world is going to be something that maybe we could, we, we can uh, not only provide, but also team up and learn a lot from the, from the PRI folks. And uh, hopefully when the pandemic is over, uh, go and uh, get some drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody's in favor of that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, again, welcome back. Um, we know from past experience there's great things ahead for you and your organization, and uh, we were thrilled just to have uh, to play a, a part of that success in the future through PROI. So best wishes. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, I'm very happy to be here uh, back again. Uh, I hope to meet with uh, all the great folks from the, the time six years ago. And uh, the others that have arrived to, to the network, I understand the, the network has grown into a couple of accounts. Um, and also I think that we need to, to extend uh, the business to many countries in the Americas. You know, uh, I think we need to go back to Argentina, go back to uh, Peru, um, get uh, Ecuador, get Chile, you know, in, back into the network and uh, really be able to uh, have the Americas covered and um, do business with uh, Europe, Asia, you know, all the other folks and the great power that uh, being uh, PRI, the, the largest uh, independent agency's uh, network is, is gonna bring into the picture for the clients. Very good, thank you again for your time. We'll see you soon. Thank you, Jeff, take care. Say hi to everybody. Will do. Thank you.